Hey guys, so it's our last full day. Um, we do actually have the full day tomorrow, but we need to check out tomorrow morning so it doesn't feel like a full day. Um, we've just been shopping this morning. We've been in Bloomingdale's. Lauren has bought a nice big bag. You nice can't big really bag. see because it's behind her supporter bag. But I'll get her to show you her handbag when we sit down. It is beautiful. I have seen a dress. I have no idea if I have enough space in my case for this dress because it's we're going to make space for it. We, we, we pretty much are. So I'm just yeah. like, I have no idea where the space is coming from, but it needs to happen. It needs to be like in Fantastic Beast when you opens his case. His case. And there's loads of space. That's what needs to yeah. happen. In the plaza. Look at the tree. It's so beautiful. So, a slight change of plan. We've ended up in the plaza food court um, and we've gone to look. And I've got a trio of rolls there, so I'm excited for this. Look how cute the boxes are. Oh, so excited for this. We've got crab roll, shrimp, egg, crab roll, lobster roll, shrimp roll. So we finished our rolls and now we've got some cupcakes for dessert. Which look very, very pretty. And they are from which is still in the plaza food court. It was so cold we've just bought matching your muffs because we are going to top of the rock. We are cold down here. It's going to be freezing up there. Sensible purchase. Welcome to top of the rock. We're up on the upper deck now. This is the side with the park and that annoying crane. It's really pretty. Peeking around, it always annoys me. You can kind of see the Chrysler. Not really, it's my favourite building. I would really like it if that MetLife building could have been a couple of, like, stories smaller. Just a little bit. A little bit would have been nice. It's a bit darker now. So if you guys can see, that's my favourite. My Chrysler building, uh, hidden behind the MetLife building. But it's so beautiful. Walgreens and I'll be honest I'm very very into these ear cleaners and you've got lots of choice look this one's got like a little hole that hooks and cleans these ones have like a scoop can you see that you can't because the camera won't focus see these ones are textured at the end and that pleases me a lot and then you've got a scoop in there oh I don't know these ones have both got safety blocks well they're like kind of textured as well they're like Thing. Yeah, it's like a meat, spat. and they've got a scoop on the other end. So you get tear on them. Mhm. Mm so you would have to ration them. You would. They'd be your special ear cleaners. Plastic, but. <laughs> so you could like disinfect them and yeah. use. Not I many don't. times. But no. Like you know, you wouldn't need to like use it once and then burn it. No. This is the most exciting vlog anyone's ever watched. You're not vlogging us buying ear cleaners. Are <laughs> I you? totally am. Okay. So having secured ourselves some ear cleaners. And Lauren's got the, the allergy tablets that I recommended. <laughs> We're now deliberating <laughs> over... Cream to buy. Yeah, so God, we buy great stuff. We, we? we do, but American pharmacy stuff is just so much better. You know there's good stuff in it as well, yeah, don't you? Like, yeah. 
completely. Can you granted it's probably stuff that's like not allowed in the UK? <laughs> yeah, no, there's a reason you're not getting it in the UK, but yeah, I'm very into the reasons because they're usually very, very quick and effective. Yeah, that's like proper eczema cream. I don't know. I don't know what one to go for. Ringworm cream. I mean, Ooh. really? I mean, for I mean, ringworm. Like there's, there's creams for everything. There really is creams for everything. For chalk itch. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. I love that they're calling it jock itch. That is um, that's hilarious. Jock itch. I'm not lactose intolerant, but I love that there is multiple choices of pills that you can take to help you to have laxatives. Uh, to have laxatives, I was going to say. To have lactose. It's just wonderful. They look sweets. They do. They look far too much like sweets, but they're not sweets. I'm so all over it. Well, Green's Hall guys, express whitening toothpaste that promises whiter teeth in three days. You just don't get that at home. And an oral care kit, which I'm so excited about. I love oral hygiene at the best of times, but especially in America. So good. Vlogging just as somebody comes up with your night. Um, we are at this restaurant called The Hillstone tonight. It's right near the hotel, so we have been packing and we thought this is like quite a good place to nip out and have food. The other reason we have come here is because I have heard that this veggie burger is like the best veggie burger ever and London is vegetarian and I feel like a lot of places, I feel like a lot of places in New York are either very vegan, like clean eating, like healthy places. Yes. We don't really want healthy places, we want like vegetarian food that's full of cheese basically. <laughs> cheese is always good. Um, so yeah, it's all very either healthy places like sort of by Chloe etc. Or like very diner. Hello, hello. Good, we're good, how are you? Yeah, sorry, I interrupted again. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's all very healthy or like very meat heavy. It's really quite difficult to eat here. Yeah. Maybe we've just been going to the wrong places, but it's it's not the easiest. No, especially on maybe some of the chains and things like that. Yeah, which are maybe the places you would imagine would have something, but yeah, yeah, no, no, not much. Like happening. even when we went to Applebee's, which is like a big American chain, we went there the day we went to the outlet, and I actually had one of the best ones of the holiday there. To be honest, like yeah. great. Um, but there was like one option you could have, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, there, there was not much. It's like mac and cheese and then not much else. Which is not that I'm complaining about mac and cheese, but sometimes it would be nice to have something else. Well, yeah, at least yeah. One like in an Ellen, or your aunt had like a starter yeah. with chips yeah. because she couldn't get it. Or you're asking for things like, can I have this but without the chicken or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But yeah, so we, we yeah, no, but we've not starved. So, no. um, but compared to Mozzarella sticks are always welcome, but we have heard very good things about this veggie burger, so that's why we're here. But I do have to say, this is like the sexiest restaurant ever. Like, it's all very mood lit, and there's live jazz, and it's very red. And, like, yeah, I feel like you should come here to have an affair with somebody, not like, you know, yeah, it's not very dark. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't look that dark. No, we get a light here, uh -huh. but yeah. It's very dark, very dark, very sexy. I feel very underdressed. But I definitely come back having not even ordered food yet. I just like it. It's very nice. I think I'm going to have a glass of this promise rosy just because it's called the joy and that seems festive. Because their their cocktails are very cocktaily and not like basically like flavoured fruit drinks. Which is just generally what I would drink. I don't know. So our food has arrived. I'll shove it. There you go. You can kind of see it better if it's in the light. So we both got the veggie burger. It is the biggest veggie burger ever. And look at these fries. Oh, have you eaten anything yet? I tried a fry. Was it good? Yeah, it was nice. I'm so excited. We don't quite know how we start. We're going to have to knife and fork this. But, um, yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, it's almost on par with steak, cattle and roll for size. 
for dessert so I've arrived and Lauren has the apple and walnut wobbler with ice cream and I've got the hot fudge sundae with no nuts. It was the only dessert they could do without nuts so we shall see. It does look very nice even if it is a kind of plain hot fudge sundae and it's huge. Like, like there's a fork for ref. And that's quite a big fork. This is massive. Hey guys, so we finished dinner and we went back to another drugstore and bought more ear cleaners because we used them between buying them and going for dinner and it was the most satisfying experience of my life. It was wonderful. <laughs> Highly recommend. Morning guys, so it's our last day, we're going home. See, I look sad, you're like, hi! Um, we are back in Bloomingdale's. Oh, there's my jacket. There's a jacket in Cannamill, not really like, but it's so much more expensive here because the exchange rate's terrible. However, we are here to buy my dress. <laughs> Don't know how we're getting it home. No, it's completely not. terrible, shouldn't be buying it. We are so beautiful, it. and we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it fit, it's gonna be fine. Even if I have to pay extra charges with the They've lost my dress, but they found it. Oh, it's in yeah. here, but also, guys, how cute is he? How cute is the little bear? We both bought one of him. Show his jacket. Oh yeah, so he's got a little bee, a little varsity jacket. And then it's very cute. He's on the back. He's a little brown bear and he's, he's super cute. Super cute. Yeah. So now we're off for one last trip to Sephora and then we're going to have to go back, pack our stuff, check out our hotel and then not buy it for the rest of the day. So we're just having a quick packing break before we... Before we actually check out. We completely deserve a packing break. We completely do. We put like three things in a case. Like we've worked hard it's here. It's been really hard. It's so, been really tough, okay? Yeah. Ta-da! So we've got two the boring <laughs> sprinkles cupcakes. They're not boring. They're, they're going to be lovely. Like, but we did go for kind of the... I'll tell you what, they're going to be messy. They are going to be messy. <laughs> sprinkles cupcake break from packing. <laughs> All of our stuff. You should show that. No, I'm not going to show. I'm deliberately like not moving this camera because my grandma will watch it and be like, oh, yeah. "What's in that big bag?" <laughs> Nothing. Just a dress from like Primark. It's fine. It doesn't say Blooming Deals. I don't know what you're seeing. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, this is so amazing. <laughs> we are here for breakfast at Tiffany's. Look at the view from the window. This is like one of those things where it doesn't look nice in camera, but I'm like looking out and I can see Central Park. It does, but it's lovely and it's it doesn't seem that far away in real life. But yes. Everything is perfect, Tiffany blue and cream. And I'm so so super excited. First course is right, we've got a fruit bowls. And how cute are these little mini croissants? They're so cute. They're so cute. This is our main course. We both got the waffle and it comes with poached quince and it was poached in the honey and cinnamon, did he say? Yes. Yes. I haven't tried it yet, but Lauren has and she liked it. I'm very excited. Bye Times Square. You have been busy and beautiful as always. Hopefully see you soon. Us back at the Rockefeller. One last trip to Kate Spade because we've not bought enough, <laughs> obviously. I'm literally just saying, like, I'm gonna need to go home and throw away all my possessions to make room for everything that we bought. It has been very, very well worth it. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Can you guys see that tree? I feel like you never get it on camera. For how nice or how big it actually is, but it's huge and it's beautiful. And I'll be so sad not to be able to see it tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Last Kate Spade purchase made. Heading back to the hotel. Going home. Very sad. But it's been a great holiday. I've loved it. <laughs>